Oh, hello there. I'm Bill Chan. I'm Nima Kung. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read to all of you. Chop. Five sec, six of the Laird of Omar. Ass. Ah. Oh. The Laird of Homer. Theodora Warbuckley. Chop. Five sec, six. That owner there in Phoebe healed the wound. With vigor armed him. And with glory grant. This done. A phantom maze. With great one ease. Such the form he bore. And such in fight the radiant arms he wore. Around the spectre bloody wars are waged. And grace and troth clashing shields engaged. Meantime on Ellen's tower Apollo stood. And calling Mars. The surge the raging god. Stern power of arms. By whom the mighty fall. Who bathes in blood. And shakes the embattled wall. Rise in thy wrath. Dispatch yon Greek. And vindicate the gods. First Rosie Venus felt his brutal rage. Me next he charged. And dares all heaven engage. The wretch would brave high heaven's immortal sire. His triple thunder. The god of battle issues on the plain. Stirs all the ranks. And fires the Trojan train. In form like a The Thracian guide. Enraged Detroit's retiring Chisi cried. How long? Ye sons of Priam. Will ye fly? And unavenged see Priam's people die. Still unresisted shall the foe destroy. And stretch the slaughter to the gates of Troy. Lo. Brave one he sinks beneath his wound. Not god like Hector Moore in arms renowned. Haste all. And take the generous warrior's part. He said in a courage swelled each hero's heart. Sarpin first his ardent soul expressed. And then. Turn to Hector. These bold words addressed. The. Shiv. Is all thy ancient fire lost? Where are thy threats? And where thy glorious boast? Troy's sacred walls. Warned a foreign end? Pan. Now thy country calls her one friends. And the proud fount in just derision ends. Remote they stand while alien troops engage. Like trembling hounds before the lion's rage. Far distant hence I held my wide command. Where foamings and the slaves the Lysian land. With ample wealth the wish of mortals blessed. A Beatus wife. An infant at her breast. With those I left whatever dear could be. Race. If she conquers. Nothing wins from me. Yet first in fight my listen bends I cheer. And long to meet this mighty many fear. While Hector idols tends. Their wives. Their infants. And their altars save. Aced. War. Aced. Preserve thy threatened state. Full warrior toy shall fall. Thunders. Sires. And wives. An undistinguished prey. Rouse all thy Trojans. Urge thy aids to fight. These claim thy thoughts by day. Thy watch by night. With force insistent the brave Greeks oppose. 
such care as thy friends deserve. Stunned to the heart the generous Hector hears, but just reproof with decent silence bears. From his pride cry the prince impetuous springs, on earth he leaps, his brazen armor rings, two shining spears are brandished in his hands, thus armed, he animates his drooping bends, revives their ardor, turns their steps from flight, and wakes anew the dying flames of fight. They turn, they stand, the Greeks their fury dare, condense their powers, and wait the growing war, as went, on Syria's sacred floor. Spreads the wife and to clear the golden green and the light chaff before the breeze is born. Ascends in clouds from off the heapy corn, the greatest rising with collected winds. Drives o'er the barn and whitens all the hinds. So white with just the Grecian host appears from trampling steeds and thundering charioters. The dusky clouds from labrador earth arise and roll in smoking volumes to the skies. Mars hovers o'er them with his sable shield and adds new horrors to the darkened field. Flees with his charge and ardent to fulfil in Troy's defence. Apollo's heavenly will Soon as from fight the blue-eyed maver tires, each Trojan bosom with new warmth he fires. And now the god, from forth his sacred fane, produce one ease to the shouting train, alive, unhold, with all his peers around, act east it, and vigorous from his wound, Inquiries none they made. No pause of words admits. No delay. Dilly Fierce discord storms. I pull aloud exclaims. Fame calls. Mars thunders. And the fields in flames. Stern Diam with either Ajax did. And great Ulysses. They didn't have still blood, embodied close. The fiercest shock of charging hosts sustain. Unmoved and silent, serenely dreadful, and as fixed as fate. So when the embattled clouds in dark array, all on the skies their gloomy lines display. When now the north his boisterous rage has spent, and peaceful sleeps the liquid element. The low hung vapors, motionless and still, rest on the summits of the shaded hill. To be continued.